How often have you started a new game and before you can play it become bored with the tutorial? To be fair to designers, there is a rationale behind the tutorial. It ensures the player understands the mechanics of the game so they won't get frustrated and quit before even playing it. That's a pretty scary prospect. People leaving before even getting to truly experience the game you've put so much work and thought into. But more than ever, games like Joden are becoming bolder and throwing players in head first. And it's paying off. At Joden's start, there's no instruction as how to roll or attack. But if you test out the buttons, you'll figure it out. You can recognise a health bar, and if your character cries out or changes colour, you can conclude that they're taking damage. You can do this because you've played games before. You know how they work, and most importantly Jota knows this, so it knows not to coddle you. Still, some things are unclear, like where do you go? The forest you've been put in has many paths. You just have to choose one and find your way as you go. It's exactly the same situation for your character, Thora. One second she was dying at sea, the next she's in some strange forest with no idea as to where to go or do. She's in the exact same situation as you are, or rather, you're put into the same situation as her. Likewise, Thora still knows how to swing her axe, as you can deduce how to make her swing it. You, the player, are aligned with Thora. You're both suddenly thrown into this forest which turns out to be purgatory, and have no instruction as to where to go. Any tutorial would ruin this immediate and natural immersion with the game's world. Jordan carries on like this. Different hazards like spores or lightning just happen without warning, and you solve them on the spot like Thora would have. And by doing this, the divide between you and Thora is broken down. It feels like it's you who is questing through Norse purgatory, trying to prove your worth to the onlooking gods. Without any guide, your interactions are spontaneous and create wonderment. You never know what's going to happen next. A kind of perfect metaphor for this point, and the game itself, is a flower with a petal for an eye near the game's start. The path forward is blocked, and it appears that the flower is the only thing of significance around you. So what do you do? You need to interact with it, and the only way to do that is to hit it. You do so, and the flower opens up and begins to shriek. Suddenly huge roots spring up from the ground and slap down around you, and then a giant tree monster shows its face. You try to attack the roots, but it's to no avail. You soon realise that it is vulnerable at the green wrappings on its arms. that is how you'll win the battle. Basically, you have no idea what the flower will become, let alone know that it will become anything. And that in a nutshell is the wonder of Jotun. Hey guys, thanks for watching, my name's Josh and we'll see you next time here on Indieformer.